Hello and welcome to Empire 4 Games. My name is Deepdash and today we are talking about the Thousand Suns Boarding Patrol Box. I'm going to try my best to keep these videos as short and to the point as possible. So let's get into all the specifics. As of the time of the recording, I have no idea when these boxes are going to release, presumably within the next month. And the pricing is also not confirmed. So the pricing, when we talk about it in a little bit, is going to be my speculation. The price, because Boarding Patrol boxes are all over the price uh, price wise, especially when compared to Combat Patrol boxes, which all cost the same. So there is a strong contrast there. Now, when it comes to the Thousand Suns Boarding Patrol box itself, you're getting 22 models. You're getting 20 Rubric Marines and two Chaos Spawn. Now, as you may notice, and a lot of people have noticed that as well, there's just one Chaos Spawn on the picture but you're actually getting two in the box and that was confirmed via Twitter from the official Warhammer account. So you can be 99.9% .9 certain that you're getting two unless there's some kind of screw up there. But yeah, 22 models, two Chaos Spawn, 20 Rubik Marines. Now, when we go over the models themselves, it is super simple. Rubik Marines are the bread and butter of any Thousand Suns Force. Uh, admittedly, Thousand Suns do not have a lot of other options besides Rubik Marines, Carabacol Terminators, Zangors, and at that point it gets a little bit iffy when it comes to regular units. So them including them here is not a bad idea. What I'm missing is kind of a little bit of variety. Usually um, GW likes to throw in Zangors. I'm very happy they did not decide to do that because that makes mixing this box and the Combat Patrol box a little bit more viable, but maybe an Ariman in there would have been a cool thing to have. But Trading Rubik Marines are super flexible, they have a Psyker in there, they are they have really good ranged weapons, especially for boarding actions. Uh, the Flamer variant is very, very scary, because you can set up for um, Overwatch, and that makes them kind of just cover an entire doorway if you are in range. They are scary. So yeah, Rubik Marines, super good. Um, great looking models still. Um, they are a little bit older by now, but I think they look great. And yeah, they're just bread and butter and you're going to uh, make use of them in Kill Team, in Warhammer 40,000 and in your boarding actions games. Now when it comes to Chaos Spawn, their kit is super old and presumably why they just had one of them maybe repainted because that one looks a little bit more current and with a little bit of a better paint job and they didn't want to paint another one um it's just chaos spawn are old but the models themselves are really fun to use in boarding actions games because they are so random so all over the place and they make for really funny moments i've played against quite a lot of people who play chaos factions and they just threw in a random chaos spawn in there and it was always a fun to fight against them especially in melee so um, are they super effective? In my opinion, it really depends. If you like rolling the dice, if you like flipping the coin, they are perfectly adequate. If you like consistency and a little bit more of a predictable outcome, they are probably not what you are going to want to run. But in my personal opinion, um, running one or two of them in your boarding actions games is definitely worth it. Now for regular one of 40,000, I'm not so sure. They are not great there. They are all the durability, they have on paper kind of fades away because in 2000 points games they just get obliterated but for boarding actions i see a lot of value for them so i'm glad they're included here also they have not been discounted in any other box recently so having them discounted is also not a bad thing but as i said the models are very old and they really could use an update by now now when it comes to points the base points when you just take this list and throw it into battle scribe is going to be 462 which is very decent especially when you look at past reviews which you can all check out on the channel and via its dedicated playlist that is going to be linked down in the description below and if you max it out you are going to be approaching 420 points and that is including your rubik marines all being equipped with um, a soul reaper cannon or with the flamers and the chaos spawn do not have any additional options so 520 points as i said definitely playable for warmer 40k and boarding actions um all you need to do for a recommended list would be to have a few um rubik marines with flamers a few regular ones and if you mix and match them you are going to get to a recommended list like this one here on the screen which you could just copy if you wanted to try it out yourself and you are going to get to 499 points which is really nice to see because as i said a lot of the previous boxes were just 390 points usually and that is kind of it, it sucks 
Now, when it comes to upgrades, this one is very simple. I always recommend just getting Ariman. You can play him on foot or use him on the disc and just pretend that he's on foot. It doesn't really matter. Ariman just makes a lot of sense for any Thousand Suns army. I'm a little disappointed to not see him in this box here because that would have been a perfect replacement for the previous start collecting where he was included and discounted. And there is sadly no box currently where, you know, you can get Ariman discounted. Um, so yeah, that is my first upgrade recommendation. Other than that, um, just to mention it because it's somewhat recent, but definitely out of print and hard to find. If you have the Court of the Crimson King, or if you can find it somewhere for a decent price, those two boxes mesh together well. If you don't mind spamming Rubik Marines, at that point you just need to get a couple of Rhinos, um, and you are you have yourself a fully kind of almost competitive Thousand Suns list. It is very, very simple. As I said, Thousand Suns don't have a lot of options, but yeah, that you're going to drown in Rubik Marines, but that is actually something you want with this faction. So it is what it is. I, I can always recommend the Thousand Suns Battle Force because it's just a really good box. And last but not least, we have our regular recommendation, which I always give just because it's baseline and you're buying two value boxes, which means you're saving quite a bit of money. And that is the Combat Patrol box. Now, admittedly, when it... When, Whenever I was asked about the Thousand Suns Combat Patrol box, and if I had to do a tier list, um, the Thousand Suns Combat Patrol box would be at the very bottom, simply because out of the box, it's not a fun list. It is 20 Zangors, 5 Scarabokul Terminators, and an Infernal Master. But combined with this box, and with you finally having access to discounted Rubik Marines, this one is not too bad, because at that point, you are going to have a lot of Rubik Marines, no HQ choice, some Chaos spawn, and that just meshes together very, very well with what you get in the Combat Patrol box, because you don't have any Zangors, and if you don't mind them, you could get them here and then never buy any Zangors ever again, because as soon as they ever get a Battle Force or another value box, they are going to be probably in there. You're going to get Scarabokul Terminators, which are a mainstay of the army, and you're going to get an Infernal Master, which is just a solid AQ choice. So, yeah. If I were to start a Thousand Suns army, and if I had unlimited resources, or almost unlimited resources, I would probably go for the Boarding Actions list, for the Combat Patrol box, and for Ariman. That seems like a perfect start to the army, and like a very varied start to the army. So you have a lot of different unit choices, especially for an army that does not have a lot of data sheets. And last but not least, we're going to take a quick look at my predicted pricing. As I said, these are not confirmed. And my prediction here, based on the savings, is that this box is going to cost £70 or local equivalent. £70 is the same cost as the Death Guard Boarding Patrol box. So I think this one is realistic. It's one of the cheaper ones, simply because there's not a lot in here. You're getting three boxes, two of them Rubik Marines and one of them a Chaos Spawn. So yeah, I think £70 for this one is fair. I wouldn't mind it costing 65 but it is what it is. I think at 70, it's worth it. And 35% savings is not bad at all. And that brings us to the end of the video. My opinion on this box is very straightforward. I like this one a lot. If the price is right, I am kind of missing an HQ choice here to make it viable for my 40,000 out of the box as well. As it stands, you can just use it for boarding actions and kill team. But yeah, you can easily just pick up an Ariman alongside this box and you're going to be set. And that is probably the play at least in my opinion other than that if you have anything to share about this box if you're going to pick it up let me know in the comments below other than that i hope this was insightful and if you want to watch all the other reviews you can find them on the channel or for future reviews consider subscribing thanks for watching and take care